I like this fight. You know, I, I hear a lot of people talk about it as if it's a foregone conclusion that Floyd Mayweather figured out my down in the last six rounds and he's going to dispose of him. And it may happen, you know, certainly it's happened before with Floyd Mayweather. Uh, and this is only the second rematch he's had. The other one against Jose Luis Castillo. And in that fight, he did um, very, very well in the second fight, better uh, than the first fight. Although, ironically, the scores were closer in the second fight. I think they should have been closer in the first fight. And in the second fight, it was wider, even though, uh, or it was closer, even though Floyd did better. But I, I think, to me, this fight is an interesting one because there are a couple of interesting factors. Of course, Maidana had longer to prepare than he did for the first fight, but then so has Floyd. So we're going to have to see who benefits the most from that. My tendency is to think that it'll help Maidana a little bit more because they had to rush into the, into the fight a little bit and weren't able to work as much on what they wanted. However, when you have a fighter like Floyd Mayweather who adapts so well, and I always joke that he's like the Borg on Star Trek. You know, remember they used to shoot, he'd shoot at the Borg, and after two shots, they figured out how to avoid that attack. That's exactly uh, what, what Floyd does. You know, he figures it all out. And, and if he has Maidana figured out, of course, it's going to be um, it's going to be a problem for Maidana. I think, though, that it's going to be a very interesting fight. I, I, I like it as a, a rematch. What surprised you the most about when you were watching that fight, what he was doing in the ring? Well, I think, what, well, there are two things that surprised me, and now I, I've got a little feel for it because some people have said here that Floyd actually decided he was going to fight a little bit more in the trenches with Maidana for that fight. Uh, and that would explain now why he did fight round one and the early rounds like that. But but what, the thing about Maidana that, I don't know if I call it a surprise, but it's the thing he had been working on getting better and better, and that's his jab. Uh, you know, Robert Garcia, you know, people always talk about trying to improve things, and sometimes they can, and sometimes they can't. His jab was infinitely better, and I expect it to be even better in this fight. And what I expect in this fight is he's going to double up with the punch more, and he's going to need to, uh, because that jab is what helped kind of drive Mayweather to the ropes. Now, um, can he do it again, and can that jab be as big a factor? I don't know. I know that he's going to have to use that punch a lot. What about the legs of Floyd Mayweather? He's, he's turning 38 soon. They didn't appear to be quite as underneath him as they were in the fight with Canelo Alvarez. Yeah. Is it possible that the legs we saw in May were going to be... Yeah, that's, that's one of the questions about this fight. You know, I asked him when I was interviewing him at this media day, um, about the the rapidity of his fights. He hasn't fought this many times in a row and had this many training camps in a long time. And I asked, is it taking its toll on your body? And of course he said, no. The question is, will it though? Um, and was that what we saw last time, uh, the byproduct of that? I don't know that. And we also don't know, one of the, one of the things this fight is a referendum on is, it has, you know, is there some slowing down physically at age 37, uh, you know, almost 38? Um, uh, and that's what I think we're going to find out in this fight. And one of the reasons we're going to find out in this fight is because we know what Marcus Maidana does. He's an aggressive fighter. He's going to jab his way. He, here's the thing that Maidana did that some other people don't or can't do against Mayweather for whatever reason. He was able to pull the trigger. You know, of course not everything landed. Of course there were some rough house tactics. But when you look at other some other fighters who've been in that position, Canelo, Robert Guerrero, uh, you know, they weren't able to, to be active. Uh, and you have to be active if you're going to fight Mayweather. Going, going back to the foot movement, usually, you know, when Mayweather, when he moves too much, they say he's running. When he sits right. down, yeah, right. That's right. Yeah, they he say he's losing his Yeah, speed. exactly. He can't I mean, win. Can it be a case that maybe he just adjusts well, to think, certain fighters? Yeah. I, well, I think from what I'm hearing, he decided to be more in the trenches. And, and so that was a conscious decision. But here's what happens sometimes, right? You make a conscious decision, but then you're stuck in that mode. And I think at the end of the day, maybe you didn't want to be stuck in that mode for that period of time and then ultimately was able to, to move a little bit more. Um, you know, some movement from him is is essential. You don't want to be, even though he's fought very well off the ropes in many fights, didn't fight that great off the ropes in this fight. This is a fact. I think, you know, they can spin it however they want.
fun. But you know, you look at all these replays, and while everything didn't land, you see the fact that uh, we have a sequence that we, we're going to show uh, uh, in one of our highlight pieces where Maidana lands like three really good left hooks to the body. Floyd slightly drops his left hand, and boom, an overhand right comes in. Now, it's only one sequence in the fight, but it was repeated a number of times. And so he didn't fight off the ropes as well as he would like. He has been able in some fights to fight so brilliantly off the ropes that it didn't matter. But I think in this fight, uh, he's always better off in the center of the ring anyway. Right. So I think in this fight, we're, we're going to see him try to be more in the center of the ring. Well, that's the other good thing. You know, everybody has their kryptonite, you know. Um, and we talk about, I remember Shane Mosley beating everybody, and all of a sudden, you know, he's in there against Vernon Forrest, and it, it doesn't work. It didn't work for him. You know, there was no, it just wasn't, that was, you know, Ali and Kenny Norton, you know, because uh, Norton was a, he had a great jab, and it neutralized Ali's jab. So the question is, is Marcos Maidana that person to Floyd Mayweather? He is, I mean, Paulie Malinaj, was talking about on the broadcast, and I thought he was right. You know, Maidana doesn't fight with the same rhythm that a lot of fighters do. Now, I think the reason that Floyd decided to stay in the trenches more is he saw Maidana get buzzed against almost everybody he fought, even in the Broner fight, in which he definitely won and had a great performance, just like against Lopez, just like against Soto Carras. He was buzzed in that fight a couple of times. Floyd thought, okay, I'm going to be able to, you know, assert my will a little bit, keep him then, keep him at the end of, of things, but it didn't work out that way. And that, to me, was also a little surprising. Floyd's not a mon monstrous big puncher, big knockout puncher, um, but he has hurt people. Uh, and can keep them off, and that was the thing that was, I think, interesting. So we're going to find out, and, we, and because my has had more time even to prepare, we're going to find out where he's where he's gotten to in his maturation point with. Uh, because I do think, you know, sometimes we give trainers all this credit, and it's not the case. But I think in Garcia's case, he's helped my daughter. Sometimes you get a trainer who tries to alter you a little bit, and you lose the essence of who you are. I don't think my has done that, but I think they have uh, rough, uh, smoothed out some rough edges. Oh, it's a good question. Well, I think they're both. I think Floyd's probably mentally better because remember he had all that personal turmoil the last time. Uh, I don't think that can help you going into a fight. Uh, Maidana's better off mentally because number one, he's already been in with Mayweather and he held his own. However, in rounds people think do think he won or don't think he won. I don't think anyone can make the case that he didn't do well in that fight. And it wouldn't be a rematch if he didn't do well. Uh, so he knows that, and he feels like, again, with this added preparation time, I think he feels very confident. And mentally, I thought before the last fight, the, the, you know, I've been around my Donna a bunch for a bunch of these fights. I didn't feel like mentally he was um, uh, stigmatized by going in there and fighting Mayweather. And you never know until the time happens, and as it turns out, he wasn't. So I think both fighters actually come in in a better mental state of mind, which is part of the reason why I like this rematch. You know, I, I actually think it's going to be pretty interesting. And, uh, and I think it's going to, I actually think that they're going to find a way to make it a fun fight. Thanks for your time. Thank you so much.